All right. What do I think of these Model 3 teardown results from Monroe and Associates? Well, if you're familiar with Monroe and Associates and if you've seen any of the results of their teardowns of the Tesla Model 3 recently, they've done, I think, videos and uh, reports, stuff like that. They work for the automotive industry and they make money basically tearing down vehicles and then competing manufacturers will buy their, re their reports with all their information in them and learn about the competition, you know, so they can get better. And uh, of course, if you think about it, almost all their vendors are internal combustion engine manufacturers. And as far as I know, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments here, Tesla is not one of their customers. I'm going down the hill here. And Tesla probably never will be one of their customers. So it's important to know that because Tesla is probably gonna get as much criticism as possible from these guys. So if you, look, if you found out if you have any history on this, the initial report of the Model 3 teardown said that they were gonna lose money. It said in there that Tesla, there's no way Tesla can make money off this vehicle. There's so many electronics in this vehicle. We don't even understand what this stuff is. It's like space age stuff. Uh, I'm not making this stuff up. And of course, even though they said they don't understand what this stuff is, and they said that Tesla seems like they've done a, a really good job of combining systems and simplifying, that they figured Tesla's gonna lose money because this shit is really expensive. At least that's what they figured because they don't even know what it is. They've never seen it before in other cars. That was the first report. Anyway, second report, they even said, this Monroe guy said, I'm gonna eat crow. He said that. Basically, I was wrong. I made a mistake. Not only is Tesla not gonna, not only is Tesla going to make money, because I said they weren't going to make money, according to him, they're gonna make, you know, I think it was like 20% on each vehicle, which is crazy. And, you know, that first report was out there in the market for quite some time. I, I'd say it was out there uh, for at least a uh, couple months. Correct me if I'm wrong. Again, in the comments, sorry, there's lots of traffic going by. So that report was out there for a few months, and of course, that really affected the market. It was at a time when people thought Tesla was going out of business. So, why would they issue that report? Do you think the guy is so incompetent and he really has no clue? Or do you think that there are a lot of people that wanted to see that report issued, which is what I think. And I think the guy's incompetent. I think he proved it because he said in the, in the uh, most recent report that I was wrong, I'm gonna eat crow. Well, obviously if these guys are the experts and no one does this better than they do and every other fossil fuel manufacturer buys their reports and even electric car manufacturers who are competing with Tesla and this guy says he screwed up, why would they even listen to him anymore? Think about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, consider the source, you know, of how, who's, who's paying his, this guy's bills? Who's, who's sending his kids to college? That kind of thing. You know, um, I think it's pretty obvious what happened here and I'd like to hear your comments. So thanks so much for watching.